It was on sale. Well, it's always on sale. That's why we have a problem, because we keep <laughs> buying it. Mm, I'm enjoying this. Good? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying being here with you, enjoying having the breakfast. Oh, we're on camera. <clears throat> I'm enjoying this. I don't usually eat breakfast because I try to pretend that I'm actually intermittent fasting most days, but we like having breakfast together. Most people in the coffee. I love you. And we were worshiping in the car on the way here. I might have cried a little bit. And uh, thinking about what we're pursuing and making first in our lives. And uh, I think God was speaking to me a little bit. You got to prioritize the things that are most important in your life. Even if you want other things. Man, I know, I'm getting down a ramble here. I think that this whole pandemic and the quarantine there and to associated is making people really think about what's important to them. So many people have lost their jobs. We are so blessed that we haven't lost our jobs. So many people have, and what do we spend our lives doing and what are we focusing on? Because our jobs, our money, the things that we lean on as like the pillars of who we are, they do not define who we are. They are not who and what we are. We are people who have been made by God with a specific purpose and in a certain way with certain personality traits and certain leanings and bents for a reason that doesn't have to do with what desk we sit at. What desk we sit at matters, but it's not who we are. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to think about that. Wife, thoughts? No, I agree. I think when put God in the first place, everything else falls into its proper place. Yeah. And I think that God's economy and God's way of working time is not how we think of it. I think somehow, some way, when we put him first in our finances, like with our tithe, which is 10% of our income, then everything else just seems to work out. And we've experienced that. And I think, you know, we are just realizing that because we haven't been putting him first in our time mm -hmm. and spending time reading the word because and, you're doing so many other things mm -hmm. well and just our routines are disrupted and mm -hmm. everything else because of all this pandemic stuff and so i think we need to put him first in our time and then everything else that we are trying to accomplish will somehow work out or somehow we will find it's not worth it you know like it's not doesn't need to be a priority and we're trying to make it a priority because of our perspective because we're trying to do it in our own strength instead of relying on God to you know help us mm -hmm. or show us what needs to be number one you know we're not as good at this as God is <clears throat> he's better like doing life you mean <laughs> yeah life yeah okay so we just went to Publix and this is the first time you've been inside stores, like the last few days while you've been off. You haven't been to the store since, what, March? I mean... Early March. Yeah. So, oh, it's our, fine. Our sparkling water that we are obsessed with. Is tumbling around in the trunk. Yeah. It was on sale. Well, it's always on sale. That's why we have a problem, because <laughs> we keep buying it. So... Because they always have new flavors. I know. You like them too. I do. I don't oh, drink okay. them as much as you, but... Mm, I do drink them. Probably, yeah, not quite as much. Anyway, this is the first time that you have been to a Publix today since uh, the quarantine all started. Mm -hmm. I've been the one going out, so I have been acclimated over time to the masks and the missing items and things like that. But this was your first experience, like, in our normal, regular grocery store, down the street from our home, mm -hmm. everybody's wearing a mask. There's lines, you can only go one way down each lane, and there's footprints in the ground where you're supposed to stand by the register. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about all that? What was your impression? No, I mean, it's weird, but it's, it. I don't know, it's not It's not weird at the same time. You I said, just don't like wearing masks because they make me claustrophobic. Oh, interesting. I mean, I have to for work. It's, right. But no, Don't you have to wear one all day, all the, all your whole day at work? Yeah, but if I'm in my department, by myself you then don't I don't wear it okay, because gotcha. no one is around right so okay. I don't wear 24 7 like I don't wear it the entire shift 
Yeah. And I take it off to eat anyways. So it's <gasps> you a... don't eat with a mask on? Mm -hmm. No. I'm not that talented. <laughs> I mind drinking water a lot, so like, yeah, when I'm writing stuff up, like writing up my worksheet impression to send over with my images to the radiologist, I don't wear a mask because no one's around. Mm -hmm. Or they're sitting six feet apart from me. So. So we're gonna go home and set up like a little mini haul. And it's not that mini, because we might have gone with a little list and come out with a lot of stuff. Yeah. We're gonna be making some big meals though, and freezing but things. But a lot of this stuff is stuff you can't get at Costco, mm -hmm. obviously, otherwise yeah. we would have gotten it at Costco. Mm -hmm. And, or we just didn't need as much of it, but I'd say, the, I'd say everything we got, we can't get at Costco. I think that's true. Yeah. So we kind of have to go, and so we use it almost like as like a mid-month type thing, mm -hmm. although this is not mid-month. Quite. Quite. Yeah. Uh, but it's stuff that we will either freeze or it will go in the pantry or that we have plans already to use it uh, this coming week. So, yeah. Here it is. Popping in to say, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the button down below and make sure you check all so you don't miss any notifications when we post new videos, which is every Tuesday and Friday. And also, if we haven't seen you over on Instagram, we would love for you to join the family over there. Head on over to OFB Social because we want to see your faces. It's a lot more personal and we want to interact with you guys. You are our people. You're our community. And we need to find out a name for you guys. We did do a poll, but anyways, if you have any good names, leave them in the comment down below. Also, check out our blog, which is ourfamilybee.com. Okay? Okay, back to the video. Okay guys, we're gonna start over here. So three pork rinds, and I don't like this dip, but Brandon does, so he gets that for the pork rinds. Back here we've got three bubblies because you know we have an obsession, and I tried this from somebody at work, and it's really good, so I got one of those, and it was the last one, so it's like busted on the side, but it was the only one, so I had to get it. And then there's an orange, and then this new white peach ginger, so Brandon wanted to try that. And they were on sale, so you know, we got them. <clears throat> okay, I needed some steak sauce, so we got like the A1 knockoff, and some liquid aminos, because this is better for you than like soy and soy sauce. So we're gonna try it. I mean, I've had it before, but we haven't had it in a while, so I don't know. All-purpose seasoning from soy. Oh, it is soy. Wait. Oh, it is soy. It just doesn't have gluten. That's right. Okay. Fail on that one, but we'll use it. Whatever. I meant to get the coconut aminos. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Anyways, we got that. We want to try to not do soy, but hmm, fail on that one. All right. We got four of these little uh, tomato sauce. Oh. Cans. So I don't have to use like a whole 16 ounce. I got the 8 ounce ones. Got some little special treats for Benjamin. Some Jello. He's never had it. Like we've never made it here. So, got some Jello. We have some cilantro for a recipe and some green peppers for a recipe for this week. Also, some tortillas for a recipe, and they freeze well, so they won't go bad because we don't eat them fast because you know carbs and stuff. Um, we got some of this deli mustard. Brandon wanted this. And some instant coffee because I want to try the whipped coffee that everyone's doing. So I got that. This is not focusing. Okay, also got some kimchi and always it's spicy. So I got the non-spicy one to try. So there's that. These were on sale, buy one get one. So I got a cheese and a queso blanco. Also got these two salsas. These are for a recipe as well. And some, oh, the baby's crying. Of these graham crackers for s'mores, because we're doing them with Benjamin and for cinnamon for a snack. Got these ranch packets uh, for dipping with sour cream and for uh, on chicken in the crock pot. <clears throat> and I also got this for on chicken in a crock pot. This to make dressings and seasoning. This one too is one and a mm, ranch with hot sauce, which is amazing. Also, we got some Velveeta just to have on hand and for easy things with pasta for the kids and on broccoli for Benjamin. And some popcorn. We're gonna do a movie night with Benjamin and camp out in the living room, so that'll be fun for him. 
Also, I wanted to get some of this Funfetti to have on hand, and my friend was just telling me I should make it in the waffle maker. Oh, that would be really good. I think I'm gonna try that. Also got some white mushrooms and uh, carrots to have on hand. Two fettuccines for fettuccine Alfredo that we're gonna make from scratch. And some lasagna, because we're gonna make lasagna from scratch and freeze some of it. Also got some chicken nuggets for the kids in the air fryer, which is awesome. Some ground chicken. Um, I got two. I could put them in the freezer for the um, chicken crust pizza that we've made that's keto. It's really, really good. And also we got this Italian sausage. We got three of them for the lasagna recipe. And we're going to, you know, freeze some of it. So it's going to be awesome. And we got this for breakfast casseroles. Um, just ground sausage. Let's not forget this loaded cauliflower with white cheddar and bacon. So Brandon got that. It looked really good. Got this for the freezer. I use this for the breakfast casseroles um, because it's really easy to just saute up. And so I got that. I think I said mushrooms. That's for a recipe. This is the frosting for that. And we got four Rebels because you can only get them at Costco where we are and Brandon loves them and they are keto. So though they're a little bit expensive, he really likes them. And so we got a couple of those. <clears throat> they haven't had vanilla lately and they did today. So we got two. So this is the haul everyone. So I'm editing this video and realized I never closed it out. So here's the closeout for you. And funny enough, I'm wearing the same shirt and my hair is the same and glasses. I mean, you know what? Not much changes day to day. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really helps to support our channel. It tells Google, hey, you need to recommend this to other people and that's how the algorithm works. So thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the button right here. If you wanna see more videos by us, check them out over here. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together.